3. The past, the present, and the future are all objects. God created everything in the beginning. There are spiritual and natural things. Time is a thing that was created by God, Genesis 1. Looking at time as a thing, we can say that the past, the present, and the future are all things. And if they are all objects, then they can be touched and handled easily. Of course the complexity of time has played so much upon people that most of the books written about time are only read when the readers are drunk. But time should not be a thing that confuses the sons of men. For time had no power or mystery over Adam before the fall. For it is written, You have given him, humans, dominion over the works of your hands, you have put all things under his feet, Psalms 8-6. Humans were given dominion over all the things that God created, we even have dominion over time. Time is just a thing like a tomato, apple, or banana. How confusing is the banana? The same dominion we have over cats, chickens, and little dogs is the same dominion we are supposed to have over lions, scorpions, cobras, and time. The chaos that the fall of Adam caused in his mind is a very interesting subject. Thanks be to God for Jesus. For Jesus walked on this earth as the second Adam to show us the way to life as sons of the living God. Time was just a thing in the hand of Jesus, he could turn it as he wished. For Jesus, it was always the time he wanted it to be. When Lazarus died, his sisters were expecting that he would rise in the last days. Jesus cut them short and told them that he was the day of resurrection, John 11. For death is a spirit that cuts short the time of people here on earth, for when you run out of time or when your time is up, you are gone. Jesus was able to bring Lazarus back to life because Jesus is the master of time. He could grant more time to a man at will, and he could do so because he had dominion, and he was operating in his authority. The same thing happened when Jesus died, he cut the time of his death short. After just three days, he was out. Normally when people die, they are gone for a long period of time, meaning forever. They have to sleep up until the day of resurrection, but it was not so with Jesus. Jesus could walk above the limitation of time because he had an understanding of who he was. It is that understanding that he shared with his disciples, it is the same understanding he is sharing with us. Time is a thing, the past is a thing, the present is a thing, and the future is also a thing and people are more important in the sight of God than any other thing. Humans are not objects. We are beings made in the image of God himself, therefore, the complexity of time should be a thing of the past now that Christ has died and risen again. For in Christ, people are able to handle time in the manner in which Christ did because of the fellowship position that people acquire by becoming sons of God. To all who did receive him, to believe in his name, he gave the right to become children of God, John 1 12. It is from the position of sons of God that we look at a time as a thing, and therefore we will never be taken by surprise anymore. For we command time, therefore, we are always ready. Many disastrous things that have happened in people's lives could have been avoided if only they could have had the smallest passable window to look into this thing called time. The smallest proper look into the past, the present, or the future will make a great difference in the life of whoever could do it. Time holds a strong veil that stops simple people from looking into it. But God has already called us to be above time and to be able to look and see the future, to look and see the past, and to look and see properly the present. If you can only see, then nothing shall be hard for you to do. If you could see how things are arranged in time, arranged in the past, and then arranged in the future, what would you do? Would anyone be able to stop a person who could see in time?